Hey, this is Savvy Nick here, and today we'll be installing Linux Mint 19.1. We're booting into the system right now. This is what you'll see after booting in from a bootable disk that you created using a Linux Mint ISO file. Once you're in your live image, go ahead and click on the Install Linux Mint. It should get a pop-up here very soon. First thing it's asking you is for the language that you want to use in the installer. We'll go ahead and use English. Next is the keyboard layout. Let's go ahead and select English again for our keyboard layout, unless you have something different, of course. I like to go ahead and install all the third-party software. It just gives you some features that you might need, and it's better than it's better to do it now than having to install it later on the system. So go ahead and select the checkbox and hit continue. On the next screen, it's asking you for the installation type. We want to erase the disk and install Linux Mint. Now, before doing this, make sure that you're installing this on a fresh SSD or hard drive where you have no data on it. Otherwise, it's going to delete everything that you have on that disk. I'm confident, so let's go ahead and Hit install now, and it's warning you one last time before you go ahead and write the changes to the disk. We're going to say continue. Next, you're asked what time zone you're in. I'm just going to select Chicago time zone, so central. And then it's going to ask for a name, your name. So put in what you want here. Savvy Nick for me, and then Savvy Nick computer is what I want to name my computer. The username, Savvy Nick, is fine for me. I'm going to type in some kind of a password that we like. Mine's we. So I also like to click this log in automatically. That way I don't have to type my username and password every single time I log in. Uh, actually, you just have to type in the password when you log in and select a user. But either way, it makes logging in easier. Continue. And we're on our way. And once the installation is complete, it's going to go ahead and ask you if you want to go ahead and restart so you can boot into your fresh new Linux Mint desktop or to continue testing on the live image. We're going to go ahead and restart. That way we can get into a real environment here instead of the live CD. It's going to tell you to go ahead and remove your installation medium, the USB stick or CD that you're using to install Linux Mint with. Go ahead and do that at this point and then hit enter. That way you don't boot back into your live image. And welcome to your new 19.1 Linux Mint desktop. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment below. I look forward to seeing you in my next video.